How are you balancing the two shows, actually? Um, well, well, this the Berlanti time... Universe. Yeah, in the Berlanti Universe, I'm now kind of recurring on The Flash and Legends, um, which means a lighter schedule. Um, but it also means that I get to play in multiple universes. Um, and we were just able to fit these nine episodes into our, uh, these nine episodes of Prison Break into our hiatus. So here's the thing, is Michael holding any grudges because he's been alive this whole time and no one came to find him? I don't think he intended for anyone to come to find him. Um, and we find out why in the course of these nine episodes. Um, his whole objective is to get back home to his wife and child, but the question is, uh, when he does get home, will he be recognizable? Has he changed so much that he's no longer the man that Sarah knew and fell in love with? Okay, uh, tell me what it was like the first day back on set with, with uh, you know, some of the original gang. Uh, my first day back on set, I was um, behind bars. <laughs> Dominic was on old the times. other side of the grill, um, just like old times, and it was, it was like riding a bike. Like it all came back, and that was good news for me because going right from Legends to Prison Break, um, there was no time to watch all 81 episodes of the original series. So I just had to trust that Michael Schofield was in me somewhere, and he was. Um, lastly then, tell me about uh, sort of the new audience that's discovered, discovered the show through Netflix. You're getting teenagers coming up to you now? And yeah, uh, the show went off the air in 2009, but really we've, it kind of feels like we never went away. And I meet fans every day who are watching the show for the first time now, and for them it's um, it's like it's still airing, it's present tense. And they are the reason why we are, we are doing this, this show. Um, they and the original fans uh, to give them something, something to enjoy, a new chapter.